Some people are born with a burning sense of determination. Sally Fitzgibbons is one of them. I think it was the age of about eight years old when I decided I was going to be a, a world champion or an Olympic gold medalist. And it didn't matter what sport, I was just, I wanted to be this athlete. And so I just went about trying every single sport I could. While she dabbled in soccer, touched football and cross country, Fitzgibbons won national titles in middle distance running. I think all those different sports just attributed into the athlete I am. You know, I never guessed that I would gravitate towards surfing, but uh, I guess in a way it must have just picked me. By 16, she was a world junior surfing champion. At 18, she clinched the qualifying series championship faster than any surfer in history. And in her rookie season on tour in 2010, Sally finished runner-up to Stephanie Gilmore. Sally Fitzgibbons is the most driven young woman you've ever met. She gets me up before light every day. Um, you know, there's no coasting or cruising. She's training at four o'clock in the morning, surfing all day, training again. It's all about Sally becoming uh, the best surfer she can be. As she sets her second turn off the limb, nailing it. Two big maneuvers for Fitzgibbons. The commitment, the dedication, it's always been there. You feel like you're just head down training for this sport and um, try to get the best at it. But for me, it's like you're training and, and learning these things for life. Surfing's just that vehicle. There would be a lot of learning as Sally finished runner-up again in 2011 and 2012. And while her desire for a world title was always paramount, a big part of her release was giving back. It's not necessarily about the winning. Um, there's other goals. She does a lot of work outside of the sport. But from 2013 to 2015, as new threats emerged, Sally's title hopes were slipping. She drifted between third and fourth in the rankings, and in 2016, slogged through her worst start ever, despite being more visible. Critics claim Sally was too distracted. Everyone will always kind of have their, their opinions or perception of, of your approach or what you're up to. And For the most part, I, I think uh, it's Sally looking ahead. You, you know, sporting careers are very short. I think it's a bit unfair to say that Sally looking at other opportunities is affecting results. Sally Fitzgibbons looking at her worst ever finish in a CT event. A rare round two loss for Sally Fitzgibbons. You know, last year wasn't the best year competitively. Those moments of being so close to something and learning to, to lose with grace and dignity and, and be a champion in defeat. In those times, it was about picking myself back up and, and just find that, that will and desire inside me to, to keep on going. Um, I think those down times is where I've created my biggest successes. In fact, at her lowest point last year, Sally was resetting, channeling her side work into one big passion project, a training program that not only feeds her need to give back, but also rekindles her competitive flame. You know, I always had that greater vision that I wanted to, to create uh, something that was a little bigger than me, like just leave that sort of that footprint. Um, I poured all that energy and love into a series of, of products that all revolve around health and fitness and, and just creating your best self. The energy she gets back from sending that out to, you know, to the universe is, uh, you know, it's priceless. After launching her program in the off season, Sally returned to the tour in fighting shape. Your champion at the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro is Sally Fitzgibbons. I really believe that my goal is possible to attain a world title and you know, however long it takes, I just have that, that patience and calm and, and feel that I've developed the mindset that can now take me there.